Hey, uh, Shalom, Yashurallah. First and foremost, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rechah, Kudash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy and salutations and love unto you, I come that are doing the work of Yahweh, Bashem, Shai, in sincerity and in truth, all right? Now, I want to do a sit down here, pretty much um, on the topic of the prophets that Yahweh, Bashem, Shai, you know, had um, set forth in order to bring the truth out, man. Okay, um, the scriptures talk about how that uh, the truth is always going to be revealed. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. And that the truth, okay, it dwells in the world, man. Okay, so one way or another, the truth will always come out, man. Okay, um, now it doesn't mean that it's going to come out when you want it to. Okay, it's all according to the prophecies that Yahabah Shemel Shai set forth, man. And so the Lord Yahabah Shemel Shai he had uh, set his prophets, used his prophets as his vessel in order to expose the truth, okay, and to bring this uh, kingdom down, okay? And so, the first scripture that I want to bring out is in the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashimel Shai, I brought this people out of bondage and gave them my commandments by my servants, the prophets. Okay, so Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, he gave his commandments, okay, to his people, which are the children of Israel, by his servants, the prophets, man. Okay, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Ezra, okay, Isaiah, okay, and so on and on, man. Okay, those are the prophets that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai set forth, man. Okay, and before they were called prophets, the scripture says that they were called seers, okay. They would get visions and they would see things and then they would go tell the masses, man, and to warn the people. That's how the Lord Yahab Hashem HaShai communicated with the world, man. Okay? And it says, Thus said the Lord Yahab Hashem HaShai, I brought this people out of bondage and gave them my commandments by my servants the prophets whom they would not hear but despise my counsel. And that's the issue right there, man. Okay, because you are not hearing the Lord through his prophets, okay, and you've despised him, the Lord Yahabah Shimon Shai, um, he set some consequences in which you have to pretty much deal with, man. Okay, the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 2, so like the chapter 1, verse 4, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children, because the sin of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me, and have offered unto strange idols, man, unto strange gods, Salakia. Okay? And so Yahab Hashimah said that what? That his people have forgotten about him, man, and they've offered unto strange gods. And that's what our people have always done. Okay? They would always want to worship the gods of the heathen nations, man. And the Lord is angry at that man and that's why you see things happening today man at the rate that it's happening it's because our people are wicked and this kingdom needs to be brought down man esau is on his last leg of his rulership man okay um i want to go into the book of the maccabees where it talks about how our people have pretty much um joined together with the heathen nations okay Uh, so like it just give me one second Khan so this is the book of first Maccabees chapter 1 I'll start from verse 9 and it says and after his death they all put crowns upon them themselves so did their sons after them many years and evils were multiplied in the earth man and until today, okay, those are the same families that are ruling the earth today, man. The Rothschild, the Rockefellers, okay. Those are the Edomites, okay, that the Lord Yahab Hashim uh when it's spoken about in the book of uh, Job chapter 9 verse 24, that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he, man. Okay, that's those people, okay, the elites of the world, the people that are... Uh, pretty much causing all hell in the earth right now, man. Okay? So, Yahab Shimon Shai said that what? Uh, evils were multiplied when they came into rulership, man. Verse 10. 
And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been an hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the hundreds and thirty and seven year of the kingdom of the Greeks, man. Okay? In those days went out of Israel wicked men. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men. And so, going back to our people, man. Okay? Although you have the one-third, okay? And the remnant, okay? Which is a part of the one-third. Two-thirds of the rest of our people are wicked, man. Okay? And they are joined, you know, they've joined them, you know, their hands with the wicked, man. Okay? And it goes on and it says, who, persu who persuaded many. Okay? So, like, let me read that again. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that that are round about us, man. The Lord Yahweh told us not to make any agreement or a covenant with the heathen nations. And so our people have what? They've rebelled and they have gone totally backwards. Okay, Yahweh told them not to do it and they've done exactly what the Lord told them not to, man. Okay, so they have pretty much gone to convince, okay, majority of our people to follow um, and keep the customs of the heathen nations, man. Okay? And so, Yahweh, he has a soft heart for his elect men. But guess what, man? For the for the rest, the Lord is going to destroy on this side, man. But because he kept his promise, he will bring you back. And it says, In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had so much sorrow. And these are the exact same people that the Lord Yahweh Shimon Shai delivered out of Egypt, man. And they were complaining and, you know, they were pretty much uh, murmuring, you know, against the Lord, saying that the Lord brought them out of Egypt so that, you know, the Lord could kill them, man. Okay? They said that, you know, uh, pretty much that um, they were doing good under Pharaoh, man. Okay? In slavery. Although the Lord Yahweh Shai showed them all the miracles, the Lord Yahweh Shai fed them with manna from, you know, food from heaven. Okay? The Lord Yahweh Shai gave them light in the, in the time of the wilderness, in the darkness. Okay? They still had the audacity to question the Lord and what the Lord was planning on doing. You know? And it goes on and it says, So this device pleased them well. Okay? Pleased the two-thirds well. Then certain of the people were so forward therein. Then certain of the people were so forward therein. So they were all in, man. Okay? Just like how you have majority of our people, uh, so-called celebrities of this world that are Israelites. Okay? A lot of them have dedicated and they've uh, committed their whole life into this society, into this kingdom, man. Into worshipping Esau and keeping his ways and his agendas, man. Okay? So they were fully in, man. They did not turn back at all. They're fully in, okay? They're 100% in agreement with this world, man. Okay? And it says that they went into the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathen, man. So they were able to do license after the ordinance of the heathens, man. Okay? Keep the customs of the heathens. Okay? Do the things that Yahab Ashimasha told them not to, man. Okay? You know, just because they want to fit in. The scriptures talks about uh, why do you trim your ways, okay? Why do our people trim their ways to please the wicked, man? And it goes on and it says, Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the custom of the heathen, man, and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant, okay? And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief, man. You know, so they were sold to do mischief. You know, they were, you know, pretty much uh, keeping the ways, you know, um, of the heathen nations, man. You know, that Yahab Hashim Hashem permitted them not to. You know, and so this, you know, and so this is the type of people that the Lord, 
you know, um, is going to, you know, pretty much destroy, man. Okay? That's the two-thirds, man. And so right now, they're in a state of fear because they have no idea uh, pretty much how to, um, how to uh, prepare themselves, okay, for what's to come. You know, a lot of our people now that put their faith and trust in Esau, now they're questioning Esau. But it's too late to turn, you know, to the Lord, man. You know, the Lord is sealing up his elect very fast. And a lot of our people, the scripture says that their head, okay, is hard as shit, man. Okay? They don't fucking listen. And so even though they might know the truth, they still don't want to fully accept it, man. Why? Because they have to let go of everything that they've believed in, man. And that's something that our people have a lot of pride in. Okay? They don't want to uh, let go of that goddamn ego, man. Okay? Isaiah 55 verse, Isaiah 52 verse 3 is a lot here. Isaiah 52 verse 3. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye, and ye shall be redeemed without money, man. Okay, thus saith the Lord Yahabashim Hashai, ye have sold your, yourselves for naught. Okay, a lot of our people, they sold themselves for nothing, man. Okay, and that's the point. Okay, that's the majority of our uh, top uh, so-called celebrities of this world, man. Okay, a lot of them are bugging out, okay, during these times right now, man. In the time of quarantine, in the time of everything is shut down. They don't know what to do with their life no more. Okay, and so because Esau has turned his back against you, now who do you look forward to? Okay, who do you look up to any you know uh, anymore, man? You know that's a question that you gotta ask yourself, man. Okay, because the elect men they've committed their life to serving Yahab Bashim Al Shai, man, until death. Okay, and so a lot of our people are still bugging out, not knowing what the hell to do with their lives, man. Okay. The other scripture that I want to get. The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Okay? Cause them to be written in paper. You have a lot of people, a lot of our people, I should say, that don't accept the Bible because they say that it's, it's a book written by men. Here it is, they're wicked as hell, but they want the Lord himself to come down and tell them what is right and and, and what is wrong, man. But the Lord, Yahab HaShem said what? That these prophecies, okay, cause them to be written in a book, man. And that's the scripture, this Bible, man. Okay. Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 1 Moreover he said unto me son of man Eat that thou findest Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel So here's a lot of examples What I read Ezekiel I read Isaiah um, I read uh, second and first Ezra Or so like a second Ezra Okay These are examples of the Lord using Okay these different prophets To speak unto his people man Okay and so, what so much more difference does it make in today, man? The Lord does the same thing today, man. Okay? It's just that our people are faithless. The scripture says that the Lord, when He returns, shall He find faith in the earth, man. Because we look just like them, because we grew up, okay, in the, you know, I'm from the same neighborhood, okay, they choose not to believe us. They don't, you know, believe that the Lord, Yahab HaShem HaShem can actually, okay, put the Spirit in his prophets to come out here and tell them the truth, man. Our people don't believe. And so the Lord said right here to Ezekiel, Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, Eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and caused, 
and he caused me to eat that roll. That roll is the truth, the scriptures, man. The understanding of it, man. Okay. okay. And it goes on, and he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness, man. Because when you first wake up to this truth, when you first figure out who you are, okay, when you know that you're an Israelite, the first thing you want to do is you want to go tell everybody, man. You want to tell your, your mother, your sister, your brothers, your father, okay, your, you know, cousins, right? Your whole family, man, your friends. You want to tell them who they are as well, man, okay? That's the sweet part of it. And then also knowing about the kingdom, etc., etc., all the blessings, everything, you know, that you've been uh, reading in the Bible was actually your history book, okay? And all the movies, you know, that portrayed the so-called white man being God, okay? And the Israelites, that's false, okay? And that that was actually your people, the people that Moses led out of Egypt, that was you, okay? Those are the sweet things of the scriptures, man, okay? But then guess what? It becomes bitter, man. Because then now you have to understand that, okay, now that I have the truth, I have to do the work, man. And that comes with a lot of rejection from, you know, from your family members, okay? Your woman might leave you. Your children might not want to talk to you no more, okay? Your boss might fire you, okay? There's so many different elements that you have to deal with, man, okay? Because the scripture says that what? Uh, to enter into the kingdom, okay, we shall enter into the kingdom through much tribulation, okay, roughly paraphrasing. And so it's going to be sweet at first and then it's going to become bitter, man, okay? But the balance keeps you going because you understand that the end goal is the kingdom, man, okay? And so verse 4, he said, and he said unto me, son of man, go and get thee, it's like it. And he said unto me, son of man, go. Get thee unto the house of Israel and speak my words unto them. Okay? For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech or of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. So specifically telling him to go and speak to the children of Israel, man. Not to anybody else. Because the Lord is only dealing with the children of Israel. Because that's the people that he chose. That's the people that he called his firstborn. Okay? In the book of... Um, as, uh, um, uh, Exodus okay verse 6 not too many people of a strange speech and of an hard language whose words thou canst not understand surely had I sent thee to them they would have hearkened unto thee but the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee for they will not hearken unto me for they for all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted man so the Lord warned him and told them that when I send you to these people, majority of them are not going to listen to you, man. Because they're hard-hearted, man. Okay? But we're fishers. We're fishers of men. Okay? And when we go out there to fish, we're going to catch a lot of bad fish. But there's going to be a select few that are precious that Yahab Hashem Masha will want to keep, man. And those are the ones who are going to hear his voice, okay, and follow him, like the scripture says. Okay? Behold, I made thy face strong against their face, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant hardened, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their look, Though they be a rebellious house, man. Okay? And so that's a warning from Yahab Hashimoshai. And so this, okay, is a task in which we have to complete. Okay? And our job is not going to be done until we get beamed up, man. Lord willing. Okay? Verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So that's how the Lord works, man. Okay, you got people who want to go straight to the Lord, man. Okay, and that's, you know, those are the same people that were in Egypt and demanded the Lord to come and speak to them, man. They didn't want to hear from Moses. And what happened? Okay, the Lord came down, okay, with thunder, fire, okay, and so on and on. And they, sh you know, and they all shook. Okay, and then, you know, that's when they wanted Moses to speak to them, man. Okay. 
That's how our people are. Rebellious and hard-hearted, man. Okay? Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked ways to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand, man. So the Lord Yahweh Shimon Shai commanded us to do this, and that if we don't do it, their blood will be in our hands, man. And then the same people that we're trying to wake up, okay, the same people that we have the knowledge to wake up, if we don't wake them up, they're still going to die. Okay? Verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. And that's the point, man. Okay? That we are working our own salvation. Okay? That's what we're looking forward to. That we get delivered for the works that we're doing, man. Okay? Verse 21, so like in verse 20, again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he had done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thine hand, man. Okay, so if you come into this truth and you fall off, guess what? Your righteousness will not be remembered, man. And the Lord will put you to death. That's how the Lord works. Okay? And then verse 21, it says, Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doeth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned also, thou hast delivered thy soul. Okay? And that's the point, man, is that what? When you have a brother that woke up, the angels will rejoice, man. Okay? And because... We are living in this sinful world, okay? You are going to slip up here and there, man. But you must continue to do the work, man. And so the brothers that are, you know, pushing this truth, okay, your job is to also try to wake up the ones who have so-called fall, you know, f um, uh, the, the brothers who have fell down. It's your job to pick them up, man. Okay? Because we all go off, man. Okay, and you can repent. Okay, any sin is forgiven, but the sin of, you know, uh, the blasphemy against Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and it says, verse 22, And the hand of the Lord was there upon me, and it said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with thee, man. Okay, and that's the point, man. Okay, that's what I wanted to bring out. Is that a lot of you Israelites, man, okay, you have uh, completely put your faith and trust in Esau. And the Lord is exposing your ass right now through the prophets, man. Okay. And although you might want to come into the truth, your ego is holding you back. Okay. Because of your pride. And ultimately because Yahab Hashimah Shai, okay, just like how he did with Pharaoh, he hardened Pharaoh's heart. The Lord is also hardening, hardening your heart, man. Okay, from fully committing and turning into this truth, man. Okay, and so we're living in the very last days as you know it. Okay, things are going to get worse. There's more to come. And Yahab Hashim, Lord willing, he keeps us safe, man. And with that, until next time, Shalom.